Hey there theologians and welcome back to Coffeeology with Alex. This is episode four. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus and his role in sanctification. Now I want to put out a little bit about the videos that are going on. Uh, thank you for the uh, likes that I've been getting. Uh, I've gotten a few subscriptions. Thank you for those. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Uh, just go down there, subscribe, uh, and you'll get to see my videos every week. I'm still putting them on Reddit. Um, so put them on Facebook and uh, Conversations of Grace. It's ran by Will Henderson. Uh, you should check that out. It's a great way to express your faith and um, learn about other people's faith. It's it's really neat place to look at. So anyways, let's get started. Jesus and sanctification. What does that do? Why? What did he do to make sanctification happen? Well. Without Jesus, there wouldn't be any sanctification. There wouldn't be any opportunity for complete and total salvation, for holiness, for anything like that. It wouldn't be there because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Now, I'm sure most of you have read in the Old Testament where the Jews would sacrifice animals such as doves, cows, uh, other things like that. They would sacrifice the grains, just the fruits of their labor. This is kind of a thing of explaining it, drawn by my beautiful fiance, Katie Simpson. These are the animals that they sacrificed, all right? This is obviously a wall, and this is holiness. The wall separates the people that are sacrificing the animals from the holiness. They can't get over there, but because there isn't an ultimate sacrifice. They can't have the Holy Spirit living in their lives because they are not without, they, they haven't taken that first step. They haven't been able to experience prevenient grace yet. Now, Jesus came to take the place of these sacrifices so that he could be the ultimate sacrifice so that this wall could be broken down so that it could be broken down and then holiness would be available to all people. It would be available to everyone so that they wouldn't just be a group of people that have to sacrifice over and over and over and over again in order to be forgiven for their sins, but they have to accept Jesus once. And that's when sanctification starts. You're justified and you're, uh, you're saved. And then sanctification begins. The Holy Spirit's living in you. That's how sanctification works. That's the first step is Jesus. Jesus had to come and die and be our sacrifice so that the Holy Spirit could live in us. He broke down the wall or tore the veil so that we could be holy, so that we could be sanctified. And that is how sanctification works. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do. Um, thank you for watching very much. Go enjoy your coffee, theologians.